one of the biggest challenges of landscape design is creating a garden that looks good in every season. So if your garden looked a little bit sparse last winter, then now is a great time to plan ahead and fill gaps with lots of cool season colour. I like planting in the autumn because you're giving plants plenty of time to establish before the warmer weather hits again. And if you really want to give new plants a good kick along, then water them in with sea salt. It's the secret to autumn gardening success. It helps to aid plant establishment, but it also reduces transplant shock. So plants settle nicely into their new homes. It also stimulates root growth and a strong, healthy root system is the foundation for great growth and performance of our plants. It also helps to make plants tougher to stress and enhances soil microbial activity. So all in all, it's the perfect recipe for happy, healthy plants. I also like to fill pockets of the garden with cheery annuals, like pansies and violas, that provide colour from autumn right through to spring. Before planting, here's a little tip for you. Simply soak punnets in a solution of sea salt, 30 mils in a 9 litre bucket of water, for 20 minutes or so before planting, and your seedlings will be rocketing along in no time. You might not be thinking about frost right now, but for those of you that live in frosty areas, you'll know the damage that frost can do to your plants. And a bit of preparation now can go a long way. So you can help to reduce frost damage by physically shielding plants when frost is forecast, or you can think about where you position tender plants. Or you can do something about it right now and start giving your garden regular doses of sea salt. A lot of frost damage is done when frozen plant cells thaw out and rupture. Regular doses of sea salt actually lower the temperature at which plant cells freeze. A bit like antifreeze for your garden. So plants have a better chance of standing up to frost. The secret is to get out there and 